Hi Star. Hi. Welcome to our interview. interview. Yes. <laughs> we are here at Dennis K. Trophy and you finished your two Grand Prix events. Yes. So looking back, uh, how was it this time for you? I mean, so you got your first Grand Prix medal at State Canada. Yes. Um, it was all very exciting. Uh, this competition was definitely a little bit more of a learning experience for me. My short program was really good. Um, I had two mistakes in my long, which was very costly for me. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't end up where I wanted to, but I, you know, I still fought through the, the whole program and I was, I'm super blessed to be here and excited to be here. I love Japan. So um, I think that this season I have improved a lot. And, you know, of course, there's still improvement to be done. But um, considering how my season was last year, I think that this season has definitely been a lot better for me. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because we remember that the complete points, we couldn't even finish the competition. Yes. So that's definitely, I think, something that I will never forget. Um, it was definitely really hard to not be able to finish the program or competition. And you know i think also since i've gotten the surgery it's it's helped a lot with anxiety um thinking about that like wondering if it's going to happen or not so i think that that has also helped um with this competition season yeah yeah you said that, um to fix this problem can you just for our listeners explain once more what the problem was yes um so i had super ventricular tachycardia or svt and it's when you have an extra nerve in your heart and it sometimes your heart will loop and then your heart rate will spike and mine went up to 220 um, which is super high and I tried to skate through my program with my heart rate at 220 and it had nowhere to go um, and I did almost pass out um, I tried really hard to finish the program, but um, I just couldn't. And I had the surgery to burn the nerve, and now it's been so much better. I haven't had any problems, and yeah, I was just super excited to finally know what it was because it's been happening since I was 12. So it's been happening for a very long time, and to finally know what was wrong and to get it fixed was a huge relief. Yeah, I imagine that must have been very scary when you didn't know what was wrong. But. Yeah. <laughs> So, and now, uh, luckily, that's done and you can, yeah, that's why you probably are much stronger all the season. Yes, definitely something that I don't have to worry about now in the back of my mind as I'm getting ready to skip my program, wondering if it's going to start or not, so. Now you have prepared for the season your programs. Uh, yes. Can you talk a little bit about your choice of the program? Yes, yeah, so um, I actually did have a little bit more difficulty picking my programs this year. Um, and I also got a late start in the season. But I feel like after an Olympic year, you know, music choice for me was so big last year and super important because it was an Olympic year. And I wanted my programs to really mean something. I mean, all of my programs mean something to me, but um, I just really wanted it to, like, you know, I really wanted to be able to skate that program and feel something every time. Um, and this year, I think um, picking my music, it was just a little bit more hard. And I knew I wanted to skate to something sassy for my short, and Derek actually picked my short program music. And he played it and I was like, this sounds amazing. I, I did have a couple um, of options, but we ended up choosing that one. And then for my long program, I picked my long program this year. I just stumbled across the music of um, Laura Fabian singing it live. Um, it is Je suis malade. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And that, that song is, I know, so hard to sing. And she sang it with ease and I was like, Derek, can I please skate to this? And he was like, yes. So I was super excited for that program this year. Yeah, those programs I feel suit you very well. And as you said, Thank they're you. different from each other. Yes. Nice uh, to explore, show, show some versatility. Mm -hmm. But um, you, speaking about music, you are a singer yourself. And in the yes. past, you have sung uh, your program. So how does your um, close relationship to music help you when you're skating? Um, so Anytime I'm feeling any type of anxious or sad or any type of emotion, I'll listen to music um, because it's just something that I can relate to and it helps calm me and soothe me. 
And I think that um, music is a huge part of my life. I feel like without music, I definitely would not be who I am. Um, music is so influential as well. It's like one song can make you cry just because you can relate to it so much. So um, my relationship with music is, I feel, super important. And um, last year I did sing my short program and that song is beautiful. It was At Last and that was a difficult song to sing. I'm not gonna lie, it was difficult, but you know, when singing it, I got chills and it was, it's just such a beautiful song. So yeah, music and me have a very good relationship. So maybe we will hear you sing your music in the future again? Yes, maybe one day I'll sing another one of my programs. That would be fun. I really do like singing my programs. It's really fun to get in the studio and to sing. And it's just, it's just something, you know, outside of skating that I really enjoy. Maybe in the future you career as a singer. Yes, yes, maybe. That would be amazing <laughs> to be able to be a singer and have put songs out and see it on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you are also have interesting hobbies like your nails. Can you share? Yes, um, so uh, my nails, um, I do get a lot of questions because skating is quite, you know, it's um, a lot of movement in the sport and so I get a lot of questions on how do you skate with your nails or just doing like simple life things like tying tying your skates or <laughs> doing your hair um, but I feel like I've had them for so long that it's I know how to like maneuver around them so it's quite easy for me to do everything I mean all of my gloves have holes in the top because of my nails but um, I honestly don't care about that because I think it's worth it. They're really cute and I like doing them and to match them with my outfits is really fun too. Yeah, exactly. So how do you pick um, the different design for them? How um, does it take to make them? It depends on what I do with my nails. This this design, because I put little... Um, Get a little bit closer. Uh, yes. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> I put some gold... I would say lines or just squiggles. I'm not quite sure what to call these, but um, I just put some gold on there and I actually was going for, the color was going for my short program for the end because it's an ombre into like a deep red. And it actually did match perfectly, which I was super excited about. I wore gloves so you couldn't really see it, but I knew that they matched perfectly. Um, so that I was super excited about. And um, I just, sometimes I look up online like different type of things or I just experiment with my nails and see how it turns out. Sometimes I don't like it and I'm just like, oh man, now I have to have these for a week. But I mean, yeah, I just kind of play around with them and it's fun to explore all the different things I can do with them. And also your hair. So it's so yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so when I'm not skating, usually I have my hair out and not into a tight bun. But when I skate, I usually have it all pulled back and it doesn't look like this much because it's so tight into a, a little bun. Um, but I actually do have quite a, a lot of hair. And the curls also make it look like I, a lot more than when I try to like brush it all straight and then put it into a tight bun. So, But why don't you like to skate with your curly hair? Um, I just think it looks more clean when it's all brushed back and and it's just it's I feel like my hair would be a little bit distracting because it does move <laughs> like if I'm jumping it'll like go all the way back and it just I find it looks a little funny too so um, yeah I mean maybe one day I'll skate with my hair out like this but for now it's it's gonna be in like a tight bun. <laughs> now what's next for you? After the experience you got from the Grand Prix events, what are your next plans? Um, my next thing for me is nationals, U.S. nationals. So I will be training for that. I have a little bit of time before that, so you know I'll definitely be working hard on my programs. You know, maybe changing some things and um, just improving it all around. So I'm super excited for nationals and to just really train hard up until then. What do you think has you have improved the most this season? I think that my mindset has definitely improved this season. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't really think about everything that goes on behind the scenes. They just see what you put out. And I feel like for me mentally, it was, it was hard to come to a competition and I would have a bad practice or 
there would just be one jump that I was struggling with and then I would be worried about it and you know it would kind of get to me a little bit but um, I think that I've definitely improved in that part and you know I do the jump so many times at home in practice and it's just like you know don't don't overthink it you know you're gonna be fine and I think that, that has definitely improved this season and also like my consistency as well even though I did make two mistakes um, I think that overall my jump consistency has gotten a lot better especially my flip that's one thing that I definitely struggled with in the past and in these two uh, past two competitions I've done um, my first flip and I actually added a second flip into this competition unfortunately I didn't do it I was really hoping to do it um, but I just rushed it and I think that that's also improved this year. So, I mean, definitely more improvement, but I'm super excited where how everything is going this year. Yeah, I think it's really looking good for you. Thank you. This year. Um, there's uh, always talk about diverse, more diversity in sport. You are yes. one of the few women of color, uh, like uh, as a top skater. Mm -hmm. uh, who are your role models and how do you feel about being a role model yourself, maybe for others? Um, so I definitely think one of my top role models would be my mom. Um, she she's an adult skater, and whenever I see her, she she loves skating, and she's always laughing and giggling on the ice. Um, even if she like makes a little like stumble, she's always laughing it off. And she's such a strong woman. She's been through a lot. She's had 13 heart attacks. She's had a stroke. She's been through so much and she still wakes up every day with a smile on her face and I think that to be able to do that and have been through so much is it speaks a, like it's just incredible and she definitely is so encouraging and supportive and I wouldn't be where I am without her so she's definitely my number one role model and to be a role model is it's such an honor and it's it's really cool to be a role model. I, I mean, to have people look up to me is so cool, and I'm happy that I could be a good example and encourage people to, you know, skate or do something that they think they couldn't do or were too scared to do. And I think that that's amazing. So, have you been contacted by by fans or kids? Yes, I have. I get messages all the time, and um, they'll ask for help and. I try to, you know, give my best advice and hope that it does help. And whenever I get a message back from them or they'll send a video and it did help, it makes me so happy because I'm like, wow, like that's incredible that I could help them and that they are, that they would trust me to help them as well. It's, it's an honor and I feel so incredibly blessed. Where do you see yourself in the future after your competitive career? Um, that is a good question. <laughs> um, I feel like I definitely would like to definitely go to college and to pursue the entertainment industry, um, whether it's acting or singing. I think that I would love to get into that because when I was younger, I actually did commercials and they were so much fun and I loved doing stuff like that. So I would definitely try and get back into that. Commercials, what for? <laughs> um, I think one was a car commercial, um, but I was quite young. I just remember um, before set, rolling down a hill of grass. Um, <laughs> that's one thing I specifically remember, I don't know why. And I had to wear all of my um, little competition outfits and it was freezing. I just remember being so cold and having to switch in and out of the outfits. Um, but it was so fun. And to be able to see the commercial on TV too was a whole nother experience. I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. Like, I mean, of course when doing it, you're like, yeah, okay. Like, oh, you know, it's like a, you're, you're a kid. You like, <laughs> don't really like take it all in until you really see it. So I thought that, you know, that was really cool. And I would love to get back into it. It was really fun for me. Yeah, well, I definitely can see you because you're like a flamboyant yeah. <laughs> personality. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, great. So thank you very much, Star. Thank Wish you. Best of luck for the rest of the season. And thank see you. you soon. Yes, thank you.